Hello and welcome to this week's Trade of the Week on Tuesday, the 2nd of April 2024. In the middle of March, we went short the US dollar against the Japanese yen because we were expecting to see a move away from the ultra dovish stance of the Bank of Japan. And that is exactly what happened. But to our surprise, the uh, yen continued to weaken. And you can see here that uh, we basically went short at around 149.11 and had a stop loss at 152 in place. And that still hasn't been triggered as we've been trading sideways below that stop loss level for the last couple of weeks. And you can see here dollar yen trading in a very low um, volatility sideways trading range. So uh, that stop loss is still in place and the trade is still underwater. And then uh, last week we went short the British pound against the US dollar. And this trade has nearly hit our downside target at uh, around 125.20 earlier this morning. Uh, we went short around 126.80, uh, I believe. And uh, here what I would do is at least lower my stop loss to uh, our entry level so that it becomes a risk free trade. Uh, and perhaps even cash in uh, my profits at the moment or uh, just wait for the uh, downside target of 125.20 to be hit. And this brings me to this week's trade of the week. And what I find really interesting, and it's a risky trade to do because I did a similar one on the S&P 500 a month ago and got that one wrong. So um, be aware it is a risky counter trend trade. But what we saw yesterday in the Dow Jones Industrial Average is a new record high being made just below the psychological 40,000 mark. And because of that round number and because of it acting as resistance and because of yesterday's bearish reversal to do with um, uh, higher yields in U.S. being seen on the back of uh, U.S. Uh, factory activity unexpectedly rising and that leading investors to worry about perhaps inflation creeping back into the U.S. economy, we may be seeing a top forming, especially since from a technical perspective, uh, the latest record high in the Dow Jones Industrial Average has not prov provided a higher high on the relative strength index. So here we've got a lower reading, a lower high, whilst the market made a higher high, and that is called negative divergence. And in about 70% of cases, it does at least short term lead to a correction against the main trend. So for that reason, what I would like to do is on a bounce higher only uh, to sell the Dow Jones Industrial Average around 39,700 with a stop loss uh, about 4,100 and a downside target of around 38,550. So this week's trade of the week is to go short on a bounce the Dow Jones Industrial Average around 39,700 with a stop loss around 40,100 and a downside target around 38,550.